This morning on today's test, if you're happy when your dog understands sit or stay or roll over, because we have got the best in show here today, Lourdes Edlin, dog trainer and judge from the Karina Incredible Dog Challenge. So with a few of our furry friends, we've got some tips on how you can make your dog a champ. Lourdes, good morning to good you. Good morning. So tell me about this challenge. I mean, the dogs here look like real pros, but can an average dog, like my dog, for example, Jasper, do this kind of stuff? Well, you know what? I mean, Any dog has incredible potential, given the proper training and good nutrition. And that's what the Green Incredible Dog Challenge is all about. These dogs are athletes in their peak condition, but... Like we have mixed breeds that are part of the show, part of the event. We have dogs of all types. Well, the owner obviously gets bragging rights when you have a dog like this. But what's in it for the dog? Of course. Well, first of all, it's the bragging rights and the, the opportunity to be with your owner and play with your owner at these events. I mean, the dogs really enjoy what they're doing. Okay, so this is Dealer, mm -hmm. the Border Collie with Annette, the trainer, and we're going to show some of the tricks. Right. This is an easy one. Does the dog do anything? Ooh. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. that's so easy. Okay. Right. What are the basic steps when it comes to teaching your dog to get this good? Well, actually, when you're doing the flying disc, it starts off with just the catch and fetch at the park. But then, you, of course, you have to have your, your, your basic obedience, so that your your foundation work then after that you know you want to get them interested in playing the disc you could actually roll it instead of trying to throw it the first time and then it's about the thrower um, you have to learn all different types of throwing skills to get your dog to showcase his natural ability okay so it's really a bad it's a team sport okay and that's why it's important that they both work together okay let's move on from this to the agility course and take us through that okay agility is a timed event this is a very condensed version of what we have at the event uh, Dogs will actually go uh, through tunnels and around okay. weed poles. So it, it does take quite a bit of training wow. and handling on the owners. It does take a lot of skill, but like you said, these dogs arrive to do this. I mean, this is an intensive play is what it is. They enjoy doing it. The opportunity to do this. <laughs> and that dog's on something, i got to tell you. And also the opportunity to, to be with their owners and do the things that they love. And are there any breeds that are better at this than others? We're going to let one of the other dogs out, right? We're going to let... Well, like I said, any breed can do this. Any type of dog can be incredible. Okay. Uh, but these are the herding dogs, and usually you see this type of dog in this, these types of events. But we've had mixed breeds that have won the event. We had a Doberman won our Wee Pull Challenge. We've had dogs, retrievers. So dogs any dog, as you said. That's right. When are the next uh, national championships? Incredible dog. The national championship is, is in October, but if, if you want to check out when it airs on television, just go on to Karina.com and it'll give you all the information. And then what does the dog win? Okay. Of course, you get the bragging rights and all the Karina dog chow you can eat. <laughs> all right, well, I have, have I run out of time yet? No, unfortunately, so I think I'm going to do this, right? Okay. All right, now what am I going to do? Well, I heard you were a great athlete, so what we thought Who told you that? <laughs> well, we thought we'd do is bring out an opponent for you to come out. Oh, okay. And actually compete. With all right, dogs and we. One of these big dogs? Uh, no, no. We have your opponent is Miko. This dog is. I'm going to race this dog. That's right. All right. That's right. I, like I said, any breed can do this, and he's fast. Okay. So let me bring him back. Should we give him over? I'm to not. Our I'm not jumping through the whole, the food though, right? Yeah, actually, all, right. all you have to do is rear it on the outside, and you oh, have man. to weave. You have to go in and out of the poles, and then turn and go on the outside weave. And we're going to have just a little race to see how you do. All right. All right. You What's the dog's name? Miko, you're going down, Miko. Come on, Miko. We okay, can I get I get started off. Are you ready? Get set, go. Go, go, go. Stop that! <laughs> that dog cheated. That dog got a jump start, and you know it. Well, I saw some yeah. fancy footwork on both of you. That was great. Now is that dog going to be part of the championships? So well, there will be dogs like him. We actually have a small and large agility. So you can see, you know, we don't discriminate on size either. No, well, I was definitely the large agility not. Lourdes, thank you thank so you. much. We look forward to the championships in October. Okay, thank you. Nice going. I'm going to be a good sport. Well, we'll be right back after this. We're first, this is today on NBC.